My name is Reverend Lynn Laborde, and you have tuned into a journey that I have undertaken with Mary Magdalene to bring in the wisdom from the Divine Feminine for the lessons of Course in Miracles. This is a journey that she and I began on January 1st. And every day we get together here and meet up with some friends and go through the lesson. So welcome to York, Denise, Angelo, Marianne. Welcome everybody. Good to have you here. Today we are on lesson 223. We have moved into part two of Course in Miracles. 220 lessons were part one, and now we've moved into the next section. We're still being recommended to meditate for 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes before going to bed, and to check in hourly to give some time to our lessons. Today's lesson is 223. And it says, God is my life. I have no life but his. I was mistaken when I thought I lived apart from God, a separate entity that moved in isolation, unattached and housed within a body. Now I know that my life is God's. I have no other home, and I do not exist apart from him. He has no thoughts that are not part of mine. And I have none but those which are of him. Our Father, let us see the face of Christ instead of our mistakes. For who, for we who are your holy sons are sinless. We would look upon our sinlessness, for guilt proclaims that we are not your sons. And we would not forget you longer. We are lonely here and long for heaven, where we are at home. Today we would return. Our name is yours, and we acknowledge that we are your son. Excuse me. Good morning, Rosemaria. Hi, Kimmy. Hmm. I will now bring forth. Mary Magdalene to have her share her beautiful messages of love, her beautiful consciousness. In this process, I find that I yawn my shifting consciousness. As I bring her through, Hmm. Hmm. Greetings, beloved ones. Beloveds, we are sons and the daughters. We are the breath of life. We are the love. Being a reflection of all that God is, and all that God is, beloveds, is the pure divine love. For God to express herself, himself, itself. There was a creation of a being, of a Christ being, of a Christ-aligned, crystalline being. There are many ways that this can be described. 
Understand, beloveds, that it has always been an emanation of light. What has happened, however, has that there has been an indulgence and a study, if you will, of the darkness and of the shadow. All of this has been in alignment with being able to see a reflection ultimately of light. When you allow yourself the remembrance, the recognition that God is your life, that all that exists is the pure essence of you, you cast away and let fall to the wayside the trappings of ego and of mind that say, but this is what I want, this is where I belong, this is what I am attached to, or this should not be this way, this is what I fear. And you come into stillness and you allow yourself to remember and it is a, a gathering together and a remembering where there has been separation. It is a remembering where there has been sadness and now there is joy. It is a remembering where there has been division through judgment now there's a wholeness. Beloved, it does not require pain, nor angst, nor upset. It does require, however, a releasing and a relinquishing and a letting go of that which you have considered yourself to be. It is indeed taking up your position as the Holy Son of God. It is indeed saying that I am the Christ of being. There is no life but God. There is no love but God. And there is a willingness, beloveds, to see things differently than the way in which the egoic mind has structured the universe with its attachments and its fears and its longing and its sadness angst. So allow yourselves today to come to a quiet moment to remember that only love is fear and anything unlike it is the egos and the minds, the egoic minds attachment to saying this is permanent, this is real, this is love. Ego's concept of love, beloveds, is this belongs to me. And if I let it go, I will cease to exist. It is the attachment that you have to people, to places, and to things. Beloved, there will come a day when you will realize that you are in a dream, you are caught in a dream. It is an illusion. And you will allow yourself to waken from this dream. And you will shake it off. And you will come to remember, come to know, come to feel the freedom that exists when you know that you belong to God and God alone, that you are the very breath of the divine very light of the divine, the freedom that you have always sought lives within you. And all you need do is journey within to the stillness. And in the stillness, you are met with yourself, your higher self, your true self, called the Holy Spirit, also known as the Oversoul. You remember, you reconnect, you reconcile with the division, the place where you have chosen to run away from the herd. <laughs> the herd being the aspect of you, it is like everyone and everything else. You grant yourself the grace of knowing that truly there is only love and you 
allow that sense of love to befall yourself or what it is that you have considered yourself to be. So allow yourself to bound joyfully into your life, knowing that you belong to God. You are an extension of God, of the goddess. In this day of the desire for pronouns, beloveds, choose whichever pronoun suits you best. At the end of the day, you will come to see that you and all others are one in the name of all that is holy, in the name of all that is divine. You need only ask for assistance, beloved, when you find yourself caught. Allow yourself to come back to love, to come back to the wholeness. That is what is real. And there you find your freedom. Your life is God's. Blessings to you, beloved ones. We will speak with you again. <sighs> hi, Sherry. Hi, Lorian. Hi, Rose Maria. Wishing you all a magnificent day. See you again tomorrow.